Hello, um, my name is Gian Chand and I'm the Key Stage 5 lead for A-Level Mathematics at Nishkam High School. So if you're thinking of doing A-Level Maths and you're thinking of doing it at our school, um, this video is for you and I hope I can answer some of your questions uh, through this video. We start off um, with a, a welcome from our Head of Faculty. Um, Mr. Nandra. So if you want to have a read of his message, you can uh, just pause the video here. He's mentioned that um, we're an experienced team of teachers. and We've also marked exams for Pearson, the exam board. And that's us. That's Mr. Nandra on the left, myself, and Mr. Cockreave. So currently it's us three that are teaching the uh, A-level at the school. So what will you study? Um, the Pearson, Edexcel and A-level course is what we follow. It comprises of two elements, Hill Maths, um, Algebra, Geometry and Trigonometry and Calculus. Well, the algebra, geometry and trigonometry you would have already met lower down the school and for your GCSE. Calculus is something new, um, involves differentiation and integration, words you might have heard before. And also there's applied mathematics and that's made up of mechanics, which is the study of laws uh, of motion and um, how uh, forces uh, act on bodies and particles, and also uh, statistics, where you'll be looking at data, how to present data, analyze data, and also um, uh, probability as well. So what does the assessment look like? Uh, the AES is made up of um, two papers at the end of the course. Um, a two hour a pure paper and an hour and a quarter uh, paper on applied maths. And in year, at the end of year 13, you'll sit the actual A level maths uh, exam. And that's made up of uh, three papers, um, three two hour papers, two pure and uh, one applied maths. We also offer um, further maths as well, which is like it says, they're a separate qualification which continues the study of many areas of maths. So, uh, like the normal A level, you'll be studying uh, pure maths and the uh, two optional units. And well, at the school, we offer a further mechanics and something called decision maths, which is a, a new branch of maths. Um, when you start the course, you'll be given these textbooks. Um, you'll be working from them uh, in lessons and um, you'll take them away and when you're working in your study periods. Um, as well as the textbooks, we have a lot of resources um, online as well. And, uh, and a lot of homework is set online. And we also, um, uh, put our lessons that we teach um, on an, in the normal day uh, online so you can access it um, when and whenever you want to. Um, you'll also have a chance to buy um, a workbook and revision guide for, uh, for you to work independently. Um, if you haven't already got one, you'll need one of these calculators that we recommend. And now uh, they've got functions on there that you haven't used for GCSE. So um, with these calculators are the, at the present ones that we recommend. And what skills do I, do you need? Um, well, it is a fact that the better your GCSE grade in maths, the more confident you'll be on the course. Um, data suggests the following target grades based on GCSE performance. So if 
that's your grade on the left at GCSE. Uh, most probably your target grade will be um, those on the right for the A-level. Um, that doesn't mean that that's what you're going to be labelled with. But And uh, obviously the harder you work, the more progress you'll make towards a higher grade. What skills do I need to succeed? You will need to be able to work independently um, and as well as part of a team. You will need to be dedicated and willing to ask questions. And A-level maths is a highly prized qualification, um, but you need to be prepared for there to be a big gear change from what is expected of you for GCSE. Now, what I mean by gear change is the amount of, of work you have to do independently. So as well as um, attending lessons during the day, um, you'll have to put in a lot of independent work um, to, that you do in your study time and uh, at home. Um, you will learn a lot of new mathematics and how to apply this in the real world. And talking about independent uh, study, um, you will continue your studies outside of lesson time. And as a rough guide, you've got to put in roughly the same amount as your lesson time um, in private study. Uh, at home or in your study period, um, as well as completing uh, homework assignments. Um, uh, it is essential to independently assess your own work and understanding. And if you're struggling or can't answer certain questions or you've missed a lesson, uh, you've, you know, like you've got to really seek help and um, ask because we, you know, we like to think we're quite approachable and you can ask us uh, for extra help or ask your peers. So, um, and number three there, you've got to have 96% attendance. So if you're absent, um, you've got to speak to your teacher and uh, make sure you catch up on your work. So why should I study maths? Well, an A-level qualification in mathematics opens the door to the study of many different subjects at university and then to many varied careers afterwards. Now, some courses ask for uh, A-level maths, courses like maths itself, engineering, some science um, courses. And for a lot of other courses and careers, it's extremely useful. And um, these are some of the courses that our uh, students have gone on to study uh, and find careers in. Um, there's also opportunities for extracurricular activities. Um, we enter uh, the sixth form uh, into the Senior Maths UKMT Challenge. And uh, just a few weeks ago, um, one of our students managed to get a gold um, certificate in the Senior Maths Challenge. And there's also um, uh, workshops and lectures that we um, ask you to um, attend or watch online uh, offered by local universities. And sometimes uh, involves uh, trips to the actual university as well. Um, to um, get a feel for um, the actual university and uh, um, other uh, things that they offer. So what do our students think? Um, well, some of our students in year 12 and 13 doing maths have left a few messages for you. Um, and I think um, the the message, underlying message there is uh, that it's uh, enjoyable, the, the course is enjoyable, it's challenging, but it's enjoyable. And uh, they've uh, praised the department. Um, so, and uh, here's something that uh, one of our year 12s has written. A-level maths is not for everyone. 
it's a hard subject and will get harder over the course but don't be scared as the teachers are super helpful and will help you all you need to do is ask and it's a brilliant subject as well as interesting if you like problem solving and um, a level maths can open many career paths for you to work in a bank all the way to becoming a dentist a level maths can benefit you a lot of different ways um, teachers do a fantastic job here at nishkam sixth form especially the maths department and uh, they won't let you fail, fall behind and will always give you good advice and uh, he says he can guarantee that okay well hope that was useful and answer some of your questions okay thank you bye